What up YouTube? My name is James. Today we're here to talk about DTF. What is DTF? It's not what you think. This is something new. We're going to talk about it after the intro. What's up everybody? Today we're talking about DTF. What is it? This is something new that's kind of hitting the apparel business by storm. And if you're like me, a small you know, entrepreneur business, this is something you might want to be getting into. Now I've been doing some research uh, lately into DTF and one, I'm not seeing a whole lot of information uh, that's really detailed about it. I'm seeing people show off and flex their skills in, in, in what it is and how to do it. But uh, what we're going to be talking about here today is this actually for you, okay? We're going to try to get through this as fast as, you, as we can. Uh, I'd probably, you know, recommend if you are watching this channel, grab a piece of pen and paper. You might want to write some of these specs down because we're going to be breaking down the cost of some of these things to do DTF and find out if this is something that's going to be right for you. Now... We all, you know, if you're in the apparel business, you're looking into DTF because you possibly maybe have been into DTG, have looked into it, or you might even, like me, have one of those printers, which is a white toner laser printer, and maybe you think that's a little too expensive and you want to look into DTF. Now, DTF, I'll admit, has intrigued me a little bit. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, the process of, of what it is, but to me, it's so brand new. Uh, knowing whether or not I want to actually do it uh, would be based on, you know, it, it's its productivity and its cost. Now, I will say straight up, it's a lot cheaper than all the setups that have that have existed in the past. DTG and the white, uh, the the laser white toner setup. Um, so we're going to talk about that real quick. So on average, the printers are anywhere from about. $3,500 as low as two grand for a printer setup, okay? So you're gonna have to consider which printer is gonna be right for you. Most of them are wide format. They'll do up to 13 by 19, and some of them will actually hold rolls of film versus sheets of film. So DTG stands for direct to film. I mean, not sorry, DTG. DTF or direct to garment. So that's where these vary is you got direct to film, direct to garment. Film, in my opinion, is a little bit easier. It requires a couple of steps, and we're going to talk about that um, really quickly. So you take your sheet, your film, you put it on the printer, it prints, it comes out, you take it, you put this really fine powder on there. That's your adhesive. You shake it on the whole print area of what you printed, and then you basically... Cure that in a heat press or an oven from what we've seen in these videos for a couple minutes. And then after that, your, your uh, design is ready to press on your garment. So that process there can take anywhere on average. If you're doing a simple basic design, it can be anywhere from three minutes. Uh, I'd say three to six minutes. And then on average, if you're doing really high color mixed with white as well, then you could be looking at print times as long as 15 to 20 minutes. So it would really depend on the designs that you're doing, okay? So in that regard, I'd highly recommend that maybe you gang up your designs on sheets so that you're utilizing time, you're utilizing all the space of a film so that that way you're, you're actually making more money by putting more designs on one sheet of film okay so ganging up your designs to me would be the smartest thing to do 13 by 19 would probably be the best way to go because you can gang up more designs and if you're able to do that you're going to have more logos on hand especially if you own your own apparel business you know every time you do maybe somebody else's design for a custom order you can maybe throw in some some of your own designs in there uh you know that way you know you're using up that space of that of that piece so on average, let's break this down to see if this is going to be worth it cost-wise. 
We already talked about the cost of the printers. Some of the printers that are out there are these models, the P600, and these are Epson, P600 and the Epson P800. Then you have the DTF Pro 600 and the DTF Pro 640. Then if you're getting into the commercial side uh, of things and you want more e commercial equipment, they do have uh, a commercial setup coming in at around 18 G's, and that is the DTF Pro Panthera, or Panthero, however they say it. So that one comes with the actual printer itself, and then it comes with the actual uh, machine that, that, that connects with that, that actually uh, puts the powder on it, and as well it cures it and heats it, and then rolls it up in a nice roll ready for you to cut up. You know, if you got a small shop or whatnot, that might be a good setup for you. The other printers we talked about, those would be more for small businesses and little small entrepreneurs like myself. So here's some of the materials that you're going to be using with, with this setup from what I've seen. You're looking at the ink. You're looking at the adhesive, which is the powder. And then you're looking at the sheets. So the sheets on average, we're just going to talk about the 13 by 19s because everything above that would be cheaper. So at the highest, 13 by 19, we saw an average from 10 sheets to 1,000 sheets, the average cost being about $15 on, as, on up as high as $550, okay? So that's going to be your cost on the sheets. So if you bought 1,000 sheets for $550, divide that, and that's going to give you your cost per sheet of what that's costing you. So that's where I was saying, if you can gang up logos, a bunch of logos on one sheet, you would take that cost per sheet, you would divide it by how many logos you have on that one sheet, and that's how much that, that, uh, that logo is costing you, and then you'd be able to determine how much money you're making per logo per sheet. So the ink, we got the C, the Y, the M, the K, plus the white, five colors. You're looking at a, a basically that's a kit, $110 for that kit. That's not bad considering that sublimation ink, if you do sublimation like I do, that usually runs you an average of about $59 for sublimation ink, uh, and then some as high as $100. So not bad on the price. I'll take that cost any day versus the cost of that white toner laser printer, which the toners themselves can, can be upwards in the 300 uh, plus range just for the toners each one so and then the white ones almost like what five six hundred bucks it's ridiculous so 110 dollars is a fantastic price for dtf ink uh, and then the one liter bottles uh of ink those are on average 60 to 80 dollars so bulk ink if you're buying the one liter bottles that's going to be your breakdown per per setup so still you know five colors at 60 bucks you're still coming in dirt cheap versus a white toner laser printer. Um, so already we're in the positive when it comes to uh, the cost to be able to run these machines. Your adhesive, uh, anywhere from half pound up to 25 pounds, we're looking at $10 on up as high as 13 or $315. So again, you take that 315 divided by 25 pounds, you're looking at $12.60 per pound. Okay, so that wasn't bad. I think the average uh, 10 was around 15. So not bad there. So, net, and then you got your RIP software. Okay, so make sure if you are getting into one of these printers, get the one that comes with the RIP software. That software alone is anywhere from 500 bucks uh, on up as high as $1,000. Uh, some of the models actually come with the RIP software. Uh, so, you know, that, that's a good thing. So, get the one that has the software because you don't want to have to buy it separate. The software, you know, it's designed to work hand in hand with the equipment. Now, if you're a pro and you, you kind of already know how to do things with uh, Photoshop and Corel and whatnot, then by means, go at it. You wouldn't have to buy that. But a lot of people don't know uh, how to use those programs. So, you know, just, just get it with the software. In, in some cases, they're just throwing it in as a bonus. So, cool thing. Uh, they do have printers that'll have roll that come with rolls. Uh, so again, if you see a 13 inch by 165 foot roll, break that down of what that's costing versus buying the the 13 by 19 sheets. Okay, I think the sheets are probably just easier 
to load and they're easier to gang up versus a roll that I have to cut all the time. I'm not even going to deal with it. So the process of DTG, I mean, not sorry, DTG, DTF. You have your printer. You're going to print directly on the film, okay? When that is done printing, you're going to take that film, you're going to coat the back of it in this adhesive powder, okay? Fully coat it. And then once that's coated, you kind of dust it off, you put it on your press, and you hover the heat so that it cures it. You're not pressing it, you're hovering it, or you put it in an oven to cure. Uh, you do that for about two minutes, and then you the press time on these is only 15 to 20 seconds. It is a cold peel. So, you know, if you're doing garments, you, you press it, set it aside, do the next one, press it, set it aside, and then you can peel them all when it's all said and done. And then, of course, you'll have to do that final press just like you would with white toner. And in some cases, I've also seen it with super color stuff. You still have to do that, that press afterward. Uh, the only difference with super color that I do like is the fact that you can do a hot peel on those versus a cold peel here. But either way, it's no big deal. It doesn't take long to really cool down, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know a, a garment when it has, when it's been pressed. So cool process. I think for the price of what you can buy this for, it definitely can make you some money. And for you small businesses like myself and entrepreneurs, this is something that you can have in your arsenal that is affordable and you could probably pay it off, you know, in, in no time at all, but it's going to allow you to be able to put all kinds of cool full color designs, including white, including black into your setup, you know, dark shirts, light shirts. It wouldn't matter what color shirt you have. You're going to be able to do anything and really do custom orders. I mean, the cool thing is you can do the whole process probably within 30 minutes to an hour. So if a customer comes in and says, Hey, can I, can I get that custom design right there? Sure, it'll be ready in an hour. Hey, that could probably be one of your deals. You know, you can slam out shirts within 30 minutes or less or, you know, one hour or less. And you can be able to do this, you know, of course, depending on your schedule and how many people are ahead of that person, you know, you can you can throw this in your arsenal, make some money and have good results. Now, I have seen videos where people have pressed this. They've stretched it and it has great stretch. They've washed it had great uh, vibrancy still after it, it had been washed. Uh, no cracking, no peeling. Um, so those are things that are a plus. Me personally, will I be buying something, you know, right now? Probably not because for me, I'm waiting to see what the competition is going to do. Okay, I want to see what's out there. And, you know, if you're, you know, anybody that's always been in the technology you're just not going to buy the first machines that always come out because the second models are usually the ones that fix all the bugs that are currently in a uh, you know model that's out now. So I want to see what companies are going to start coming out, uh, making small improvements to what's already out now. Um, that way, when those machines come out, you're going to see more competition going on. You might see some prices drop. Who knows? I'm going to probably say... This year is going to be really cool for the apparel industry when it comes to machines and equipment that are coming out that are more home-based that allow you to open up your ways of making money. The cost of doing things, it's pretty low. It's not bad. So basically, you would take this, okay? Now, we're not sponsored here. We're not affiliated here with anybody. So we don't sit here and hype up other companies. We basically say, will this setup here be right for you versus buying from a company like Supercolor or buying from a company like Transfer Express. You have to weigh the pros with the goods. So this is a little bit more of an affordable setup. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. You know, I think, like I said, the the production time, it's, it's for small time. You know, you're not going to, this isn't going to be, super fast production having these printers okay unless you have bigger stronger faster equipment commercially don't expect that these are going to be super fast they're just not okay so 
hopefully that answers some of your questions. You know, we did some breakdown and, and whatnot. I just wanted to come on here real quick because I see the hype of DTF, you know, coming to light. And there's just not a lot of cool information that's out there for people like us that are in the apparel business trying to look into something new. Um, you know, of course, we like things that are new, just like toys. We, we love playing with things that are new. So is this for you? Hopefully I answered that question. If there's any questions I might have missed, drop them in the comments. Like, subscribe if you like the channel. My name is James, and I'm out.